Hey, Jessica from the E-Rank team here. Today, we're going to be talking about setting up personalizable listings in an Etsy shop via Printify. We're going to start on the Printify platform. This is the dashboard for the E-Rank shop via Printify. I'm going to click on my products. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I am going to copy an existing item to be personalizable. So I'm going to take this tote bag that we have here and I'm going to create a copy of it. I'm going to duplicate it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to these three dots on the right hand side that says more actions. And if you click on that, you'll see a set personalization button. Not every item on Printify is eligible for personalization, but the ones that are will have this button here. So I can click set personalization and I'm going to toggle the enable personalization button. So it's going to turn green and slide over to the right hand side when it's turned on. I'm going to click save. And now when this product shows up on my My Products page, you'll see this little box that says personalizable on it. You'll also be able to see which items you have in your shop that already have this feature by clicking the personalizable tab. So now it shows this, this tote bag here. Now that we have the copy here and we have personalizable turned on, we're going to have to go into the product and tell Printify what we want buyers to be able to personalize for this item. So we're going to go into edit design and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make the logo a little smaller. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this personalize button on the left hand side. And the option that you get for this item is personalizable text. So I'm going to click on that. And right now it says print it your way. What I'm going to do is I am going to type in my name. Because for Etsy, for your first thumbnail, you are not allowed to show your text here or your name here, it has to show a final finished product, such as one that the customer would get. So that's why I'm putting my name here. So we have here, you can enter in a character limit if you like, um, you can change the position of things, you can change the height, etc. And we'll save the product. Here we are on the product page and you can see that the mock-up now has my name on the tote bag above the E-Rank logo. And we're gonna scroll down to the personalization box. So it will automatically be toggled on if you have already set personalization from the more actions menu that we had a few minutes ago. And you can't turn it off from your product page like this. You would have to go back and untoggle that little button. And then this box is going to have the instructions that you want to give your buyer. So right here it says, please add only the text you want printed for your product, reach out to us directly for any additional requests. That is a default message that is put in there. You of course would customize it however you need. Enter your initials, enter your full name, enter the gift message you want on this t-shirt, whatever it's going to be. This is where you would put the instructions. You can also set the character limit. I'm going to say it's for a first name. So I'm going to set the character limit to 20, just, just to change something. And then that is going to be all set there. So we're going to publish it and it's going to send it over to the Etsy shop. So here we are on the E-Rank Etsy shop side of things. I am going to go to draft listings. Printify has sent over that listing and it's going to be in draft mode because I haven't gone in and published it yet to my actual Etsy shop. So I can go in and we can take a little look at what it looks like. So we can see the thumbnail, we can see the description and here is where the personalization box is. So this text came directly from Printify. So if I make a change here, it won't sync up to Printify. I would have to go in to Printify and change it that way and then resync the product up. Now that Printify has sent over this listing to my Etsy account and it's in drafts, 
I can go in and I can optimize it. I can add in the tags, I can add in the materials, any relevant Etsy attributes, and get that listing really polished up before hitting that activate button. I hope that this was helpful, and we at eRank look forward to helping you on your Etsy journey.